Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my March favourites video. So I'm going through all my products that I've been using non-stop for the last month. Um, it's just pretty much products that I'm like obsessed with at the moment. So let's jump right in and get started. First product is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I said a couple of weeks ago when I hauled this that um, I was going to do like a follow up to see how I liked it. I've been using it every day for like two and a half weeks and I can't fault it. Other than the smell, like I'm not a huge fan of the smell because it smells like men's cologne. But other than that, like the, the texture is beautiful, the finish is beautiful, you can wear it all day and sweat and your makeup doesn't come off. Um, when I'm out doing deliveries, I always have my sunglasses on and you know how you normally get those little marks on either side of your nose? You don't get it with this. It's amazing, like for $11, that is the best primer you are going to get. It's crazy. The next product is my all time favorite foundation. It is the Revlon Color Stay 24 hour foundation. And I am the shade 150 Buff Chamoy. I think that's how you say it. It's an SPF 20. I thought it was a 15, but it's actually a 20. Um, and it's for normal to dry skin. I think there is one that you can get that's like normal to oily as well. So they cater for everyone. But I am normal to dry. Um, this is like a light to medium coverage, but you can build it up to full coverage. Like one, one or two layers of this is enough for me to just go out with only this on. Um, I've got pretty bad acne scarring and pigmentation on my skin and you can't see any of it through this foundation. So that one there is my all time favorite for a drugstore foundation. I think it's like... $26 or something, which is pretty cheap. The next product is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So I bought this probably about three weeks ago. I've been using it every day since. I really like the finish and consistency of this product. Um, it's very similar to the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I also have. Um, and this one here is just a little bit thinner consistency, whereas this one's quite thick. Um, but both of them have like the same applicator tip, they're both exactly the same colour on the skin um, and I can't fault the formula in the Maybelline Fit Me. So that one there is great um, for a drugstore concealer. My next product is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. This is the highlight I'm wearing today, it is absolutely amazing. I cannot get enough of this highlighter. Like, look at that. It is absolutely to die for. Um, it's just beautiful, like really refined shimmer. It's not, like some highlighters you feel like you've got just a glitter stick on your face. But this one here is really good if you're just looking for a little bit of an extra glow. So I would highly recommend that one. It is a little bit more pricey, but it's worth saving you dollars and going to get it. Um, I have two eyeshadows with me today. One is the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Liberty, which is the silver that I have on my eyes right now. This is holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. My goodness. That there is just rubbing my finger in at once and swatching. How amazing is that? And it lasts all day, like it doesn't split, it doesn't cake apart, it doesn't get into creases, it doesn't move, it's absolutely incredible. Like I just applied it with my finger and then blended it out with my brush on the middle bit and it's amazing. And the next eyeshadow I have is the Hot Makeup Hot Candy Eyeshadow in Toasted Almond. I saw um, No Just Henry post about this. And I got it at iMats, and it's incredible. It's like a darker grey silver kind of tone. It's that one there. Um, this again, it's like beautiful pigment. It's kind of got a brown undertone through the grey. It's like a like a gunmetal kind of colour, but with a brown undertone. 
um, and it is absolutely amazing to apply. It blends beautifully, and it's just one of my absolute favorite eyeshadows for this month. Like, I'll put that all over my lid by itself, and that's enough. Like, I feel like it's just beautiful. You can wear it by itself, you can mix it in with other colors. It's amazing. Um, the next ones I've got are the Benefit Their Real Mascara and the Ulta 3 Felt Tip Eyeliner. So the Benefit Their Real Mascara, I've been using this probably since like this time last year. I got this when I went up to Townsville for a music festival and it is amazing. It's a tubing mascara, so if you don't know what that is, it means once you put it on you can't get it off. Like it, it's like sweat proof, waterproof, whatever else, until you're in hot water, like in the shower with warm water, and it literally just like pulls off in tubes. It doesn't pull your lashes out, it just like peels off your eyelashes, which is amazing. Um, I use this like on my brides and stuff as well because it gives them fuller lashes, and it also it's like cry proof, <laughs> so it's good because there's a lot of tears on wedding days. <laughs> um, the next one, like I said, is the Ulta 3 Felt Tip Eyeliner. I actually got this in a Bella box probably like six months ago, and I have no idea where I can repurchase it, but it is amazing. Like, it, it just beautifully glides on. And you can do it, like, as thin or as thick as you want. And it stays on all day. Like, I'll be out in the heat and, like, rubbing my eyes because I get sensitive eyes in the heat. I'll be rubbing my eyes and it still doesn't budge. It doesn't come off. So I would really love to get my hands on another one of those. If anyone knows where to get it from, please let me know because I want to get my hands back on this because it's nearly out. My next products are two lipsticks. It is the MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick and the Pout Cosmetics Proud Mary, which is the color that I've got on my lips right now. Um, both of them are gorgeous nude colors. Uh, Proud Mary is probably a little bit more pink toned, and it's really, really velvety, kind of like a, it's kind of like a cream sheen. It's more like a gloss, but it's like got lipstick coverage. And then Velvet Teddy is just slightly darker, but not so glossy. And these two are my favorite go-to lipsticks just for everyday wear. Like, if I don't know what color to wear, I'll just slap this on. Because it's a slightly darker nude, but it's like a your lips but better kind of color, if that makes sense. I don't know. But anyway, so they are my go-to lipsticks for March. That is all I've got for you guys today, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next one on Sunday. Bye guys!